Area number two, not to foam roll. Low backs, cut it out. You don't need it. There's better things you can do. I know your back's tight. We've been sitting, we've been working. We haven't been able to get outside. We haven't been able to lift the way we like to. My back's sore. Conventional wisdom says, let me foam roll it. I'm saying that's not the case. Cut it out, okay? Here's why. I'll be right back. Here's your spine, right? Here's your, your neck, your thoracic spine, your lumbar spine, okay? So in our mid-back, you can actually see how, let me show you, that these joints, the way they stack on top of each other, um, they kind of self-regulate. So if I push that way, this joint actually prevents this one below it from going further. Okay, that's good. It kind of stacks on top of each other here. That's a good thing. Foam roll your mid-back all day long. That feels good. You get a lot of motion here. That popping, clacking, that's an okay thing. You get a little bit of movement in there, feels really nice. That's what an adjustment is. Just getting movement and removing some restrictions into that area. That's what we want. Now let's go into this lumbar spine area here. If I zoom in a little bit, you can actually see things change. Those joints are no longer in front of each other. They kind of move into this direction. So if I push this way, if I push that way, now all of a sudden you can create a shear force this way and that way that puts a lot of unnecessary stress into those joints. We just don't need it. It can create some inflammation, okay? We want our spine to be able to move really well. It's a healthy spine if it can move really well. We just don't want it driving all our movements. We want the drivers to be into our hips, into our mid-back. When we're mobile here and we're mobile here, the guy right in the middle can be nice and balanced, nice and controlled, and when we're balanced and controlled, tension goes down. Awesome stuff. Quit foam rolling your low back. So I just said, don't foam roll your low back. What the heck, Smith? I have low back tension. Another video is gonna be like, what? why are we tense? Why are we tight? If your back is tight because you have tense muscles, Rather than lying on a foam roll and creating that tension and that stress and that shear in your low back, the alternative is taking a lacrosse ball, leaning against the wall so I can control the pressure. I'm putting that right on my big QL, my big paraspinal muscle. I'm gonna lean into it and I'm just gonna massage nice and easy. I'm controlling the stress. I'm controlling the pressure. I'm not getting too much shear into my low back. Um, and it actually feels really good. I'll be here for about 30 to 45 seconds, then I'll switch sides. The only thing, don't put it right onto your spine. It just hurts. Don't worry, the muscles feel good. Nice and easy. I'll see you in a second.